This is the only lens that I need. Yo, the family, it's your boy Mikey coming to you with another new video. And I have not talked about this lens enough. This is one of my favorite lenses that I've ever owned, I've ever purchased. This is literally my go-to lens for everything. And that is the Tamron 28 to 75. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of zoom lenses only because I know sometimes they don't work the greatest. And I know that a lot of people love their lenses that are a single focal length, like a 50 millimeter, 55 millimeter, 80 millimeter, even wide angle millimeters like 24 and such. But this, I've used this so many times. Shoot almost half of the videos that you see on this channel and I have no complaints about this lens. It racks focus perfectly fine. It racks focus actually insanely quick compared to most non-Sony lenses. I mean, this is a Sony lens, but it's not a Sony brand lens. It's by Tamron, meant for Sony. There are sometimes a couple of differences when you're using a native Sony lens on a Sony camera, but there is sometimes other differences as well too when you're using a lens that is not a Sony native lens. Now, when it comes to these type of lenses, they're not the greatest build quality. I have no problem with having a plastic lens. I would like to prefer more of a metal lens body just because of times where I'm accident prone and I'm a <laughs> klutz. So I end up always dropping something like my lens or my camera. So when you have a plastic body, sometimes it gets deteriorated. As you can see, mine is a little, I mean, mine isn't terrible. It's not you know it doesn't have a bunch of blemishes it does have a little bit on the lens cap and then there are a couple of blemishes here and there around it but other than that it's still in perfect condition and it's still very nice and I still use it almost half the time on every shoot that I go on would I like it to be a little bit wider yes would I like it to zoom in a little bit more yes but you can't have everything and I've noticed that a lot when it comes to lenses, cameras, and more. But 28 is wide enough for me. It gets in close enough to where I can get a wide angle shot. And then 75 zooms in far enough to where I can get closer up shots and I can be farther away, especially when I do portraits and things like that. I always like to do a bigger millimeter whenever I'm doing portraits because I like to be farther away and zoom in so that way I can get that blurry background but still have that distance in between. I'm not exaggerating that I've used this so many times and it's been in my camera bag for years now and I haven't changed it. I haven't gotten a new one or tried to, you know, get a different type of zoom lens. This works perfectly fine. I was thinking of getting the G Master Sony lens, which is a 16 to 35, which is almost an equivalent to this, but it only goes up to 35. And I think that 28 is wide enough for most shots. So to have this go from 28 to 75 is perfect. And it did not cost me an arm and a goddamn leg to get this lens. Now I know you can get this lens pre-owned for a pretty decent price. And I know that they sell this new one for a good price as well too. I'll probably have it up on the screen as we speak, but I would probably prefer to get this over any G Master or any other lens because most of the Sony native lenses are super duper expensive and we out here trying to be on a budget and save us some money so to have something that's equivalent to most of these other lenses is very very convenient i've had a couple of different lenses use a couple of different lenses this one and my other tamron 17 to 28 which i will probably end up talking about sometime in the future my wide angle lens this one has been my go-to for everything literally every video every photo it's just it's, it's a good lens and I would totally recommend that you purchase one if you're looking into getting a cheaper lens that does the work. But yeah, I just wanted to shoot this little review of this lens. I have been in love with it ever since I got it and I wanted to share the information and let you guys know about this lens too, which I'm probably a bunch of you have probably already heard about, but this lens still works even now, even though it's a few years older, it still works perfectly great now. So I would totally still recommend purchasing it this current time. But yeah, that is pretty much it for this video. All right, if I was a little bit informal and if I was any help to you and trying to figure out if you want to purchase this lens I would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up that helps me out a lot here on the channel and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe by now there should be a face popping up on the screen where you can actually click that and subscribe and it's free so that's something you might want to jump on 
<laughs> and on the other side is actually a video where I got to test out the Sony FX3. And some of those clips were actually shot with this lens. So if you wanna see how that looks with this lens on that body, you can go ahead and click that video. It's right here on the screen as well too. And I hope to see you guys over there. But other than that, I will see you in the next one. Peace out, bye.